If you've got a craving for pretzels, Pretzel Cravings got a new pretzel you your crave. We're not your ordinary bald guys, and these aren't your ordinary pretzels. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. So Dave and I have done taste tests on pretzel cravings before, each separately though. Yeah. Uh, they produce some of the best snacks that I believe that I've ever tasted, especially salty snacks. These uh, pretzels, we have talked about how buttery they are, how uh, incredibly rich, and the flavor is out of this world, and mm -hmm. I think we've liked each one. Yeah, every single one. More than the first. Uh, one of my favorites is jalapeno, because yep. I love the spicy stuff. And you got my dill. favorite is the dill pickle. And right now Dave's shaking in anticipation because of what's up next. And then we also have salt and vinegar. <laughs> that's the new flavor that's dropping into the county market stores right now. So what we're going to do today is try each one of these four, give a grade of zero to ten to really find out which one's the best tasting, okay. and elaborate on how they taste, because maybe you guys haven't tried these before. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, ground Moaning and mm, moaning. Yeah. We'll start out with the original. Yep. If you haven't found these, they're by our deli departments. Yeah, there's two different places you can find them. Either yeah. by the deli or in the snacks where all the other pretzels are, kind of by like the beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the brat taste test when they, Dave and I did first did that on Smokehouse Brats, where it just mm -hmm. kind of escalated in greatness. Yeah. Um, these are just delicious, even the original. There's <laughs> there's just enough seasoning on these um, I love to make the my garlic. mouth happy. Yeah. I love the garlic. Garlic is um, garlic butter out of this world. You could call them garlic bread twist because mm -hmm. that's about what they taste like. Yeah, it's a, it's a great texture too because sometimes when pretzels it gets too dry, yeah, too crunchy. Yeah. These have kind of like a crunchy outside, but it's a tender. They inside. really melt in your mouth, man. You could sit down and eat the whole bag. Mm -hmm. That's how good these are. And that's just the original. All right, so one to ten out of the okay. original. It's going to get difficult, I think. <laughs> We're going to go up by uh, decimals. I feel like uh, Final Jeopardy. <laughs> yes. How to evaluate this when we love them so much is yeah. tough. All right, you're going to that one going on. Yeah. <laughs> I forget I how good the original is after yeah. having the flavors for so long. I forget about the original. We always pick up the flavored ones, but mm -hmm. man, it's nice to go back to the originals. Jalapeno was next. Ooh. These have a lot of coating on them. That's what I like. Mm. Instant zing. Dave and I just had these as part of our jalapeno taste test mm -hmm. on the jalapeno snacks. <laughs> this is really high up there. I mean, it tastes like a jalapeno. It, it's not a fake flavor. It does. And we were talking about how the uh, pretzel is so buttery that it almost overpowers the jalapeno. Right. Because the pretzel's so good. So it's not that spicy. No. I mean, the more you eat, the more it builds, of course. But what's great about these is that the salt content mm -hmm. isn't overly there. So you don't feel like you're dehydrating yourself whenever no. you're eating. There's this. definitely more flavoring than there is salt. Mm-hmm. Wow. Who's your favorite child? <laughs> so it's about it like it. Yeah. Up to a nine. Yeah, I'll go with nine. The only reason why I give it a nine and not a ten is if they put cheese with that jalapeno. Holy cow. I mean, that'd be an addiction. I'd have to mainline it right yeah. into my arteries. Um, each one of these, I can picture drinking it an ice cold beer with. That's true. Pickle. Dill pickle. All right. We just also had these for our which pickle snack is the most pickly. Yeah. Man. <laughs> these you can definitely smell. Well, another thing I like about these is that mm. it's an immediate hit. I mean, sometimes whenever you have a snack, it takes a little bit to get to the flavor. This is right on top. And it to tastes to. like a really, really good dill pickle. Mm -hmm. Not a mushy, um, fake pickle paste. Yeah, they this don't is, hold back on the flavor. This is right up there with um, the best pickles you had. Mm -hmm. And a pretzel. And buttery. Again, mm. you get that butter flavor on all of these. <laughs> Got a feeling you go up. <laughs> I, went up. Down. Yeah. I like the jalapeno a little bit more than the dill. But See, and I'm just the opposite. Mm -hmm. I like the dill just a little bit more than the jalapeno. And finally, the newest addition to the line, we got salt and vinegar. My kids love salt and vinegar uh, chips. Whew. Wow. Again, it's got that punch right off the tip of your tongue. I will say, this doesn't sour like some of the salt no. and vinegar snacks. Some of the salt and vinegar chips are really powerful. Mm -hmm. These are, I would call these perfect. It's a good balance. Perfectly balanced. Mm. You still get that buttery taste too. Your mouth is um, so happy because you're getting all the taste buds, the mm -hmm. umami? salty, the, yeah. Umami. Hmm. I mm -hmm. really, really like them. I don't know if they're my favorite. <laughs> so Dave's got to put it against his dill pickle yeah. favoritism here. And the original. <laughs> I'd go nine and a quarter, a <laughs> just a hair down from the dill pickle. 
They're still wonderful. I mean, jalapenos are going to be there up there with, yeah. as well as the original as my favorites. But that's a really, really good salty snack. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, what would happen if we mixed all these. Let's try it. All right, the buffet of pretzel cravings. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flavor. Really good. I will say it all mixes well together. The good thing about these, um, you're used to eating pretzels that are kind of dry and you wish you could dip them in something. Mm -hmm. These don't need anything. Yeah, and if you did decide to dip them in something, they would hold up well. Cheese, um, dill dip. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else you would use. Dip them right in the beer like you dip an Oreo in the milk. Yeah. Well, the two ball guys are split. <laughs> yeah. My favorites are the original and jalapeno. Mine still are the dill pickle and the salt and vinegar. So if you haven't tried these, you need to try them out, especially this new one, the salt and vinegar, just now hitting county market stores. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it.